morning, Grace Community family. My name is Pastor Rhoda Warner, and I greet you in spirit this Sunday morning. I am filled with mixed emotions as I'm thankful and excited to be joining you all on this journey as your lead pastor. But at the same time, I can't help but also feel saddened by our not being able to meet physically in person for worship. I'm sure a few are feeling just like I am. And for those people, hold on, <laughs> help is on the way. Unfortunately for my ego, it's not me. <laughs> Instead, being good Methodist, the right Methodist way, we will be doing so in the fashion of forming a committee. So I want to first to thank all of those who have been serving in leadership positions and also ask in this time, I know I haven't been here that long, but also put the call out for those who are willing to serve on this committee to also uh, speak for now so that we can form this committee and prepare ourselves the proper way in accordance with the bishop, in accordance with our district superintendent's request, and in accordance with the request of the, uh, the Illinois uh, government, the uh, Illinois state rest restrictions as well. All right. But however, aside from business, if you would like to give my ego a little bit of a boost, <laughs> Check out my Get to Know Pastor Rowe video, which will be posted soon. So be on the lookout. <laughs> now, without further ado, the day is July 5th, 2020. Service is coming to you through a computer screen or a TV screen. Everything is out of the norm. Things are uncomfortable. Things are new. People are new. Things are strange. There is a new norm. But through all of that, I invite you, brothers and sisters, this morning to join me and prepare your hearts and minds for worship this Sunday morning. Brothers and sisters, hear these words as our call to worship. Over the turbulent waves in our lives, Jesus calls us. We get so busy watching the waves, we block out Jesus' call. Look again, Jesus is calling to you. Lord, help us hear your voice. Come, place your trust in Jesus. Lord, forgive our doubts, receive our lives. This we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Let us now prepare our hearts for our opening prayer. Bow with me. Lord, we come to you this day seeking your healing and restoring love. Give us courage to reach out to you in the good and easy times, as well as in the times of strain and stress. Open our hearts to receive your message of peace and hope. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Brothers and sisters, unfortunately, this Sunday, we are unable to have our hymns weaved into our service, which we all know is so special to us. Uh, both our traditional hymns, our contemporary hymns, and all music alike that can make us feel the spirit. However, I want to encourage you that as we plan for next week to have our musical selections in our service, our online services, I encourage you to be like David and dance through your house this morning, listening to whatever you choose to play as your worship theme. But I ask that you pick a theme, a worship song for this week, 
Something that when times are getting hard for you, you can start to sing and dance. Something that when 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 you're frustrated about some about a situation not going your way, that that song can replay in your mind. Pick a hymn, pick a song, pick a dance, and pick choose to be joyful and worship our Lord throughout the week. Treat every day as if it's Sunday. Me, will you? And turn with me to the book of Joshua, chapter 1. We'll be reading verses 5 through 9. This will be the Old Testament reading for today. There shall not be any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Be strong and of a good courage, and unto the people shalt thou dive for an inheritance in the land which I swore unto their fathers to give them. Only be thou strong and very courageous, that thou mayst observe to do according to all the law which Moses my servant commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left, that thou mayest prosper with us so over thou goest. This book is the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, and thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Have not I commanded thee? Be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee, wheresoever so thou goest. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Our next reading will come today from Matthew the 11th chapter verses 10 through 19 for this is he of whom it is written behold i send my messenger before thy face which shall prepare the way before thee verily i say unto you among them that are born of women there hath not risen and greater than john the baptist Notwithstanding, he that is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence, and the violence take it by force. For all the prophets and the law perished until John. And if ye will receive it, this is Elijah, which was come for to come. He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. But whereunto shall I liken this generation? It is like unto children sitting in the markets and calling unto their fellows and saying, We have piped unto you and you have not danced. We have mourned unto you and you have not lamented. For John came neither eating nor drinking, and they say he hath a devil. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and they say, Behold, a man gluttonous, and a wine-bearer, a friend of publicans and sinners, but wisdom is justified of her children. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Amen. 